652 now, and we're wrapping up our last hometown holidays of the season, presented by Dave Edwards Toyota. Yeah, this week we're visiting a place that's fun for the holidays, but really fun all year round. Christine Scarpelli is live in Polk County yes. to tell us all about what they have to offer. Hey, hey Christine. Yeah, guys, show you some things, too. Really beautiful up here. Polk County has a lot to offer, especially for the holidays. We saw the cover of that magazine, yeah. the guide mm -hmm. that everyone in the area gets to see. Fun things to do. They need a couple examples. Uh, this is my favorite by far. I'm sorry. I love yep. where we are, the Green Life Inn this morning. It's absolutely beautiful. But Try On Midnight is one of the most entertaining. It sounds yep. Hysterical, It's Melinda. kooky. Okay. It's just kooky. We got yep. some video we yep. can show you, but yep. tell us about it. So uh, the idea is people want to get out and have fun for New Year's of Eve. Of course. It's a little late. New Year's Eve is late. Especially so, for us in the Yes, morning. exactly. So uh, people want to do things with their families, want the kids to come out. And, and so we have Try on Midnight, which is 10 p.m. <laughs> uh, we have the whole street festival. You wear your hats. You have your noise blowers. There's games and fires and hot chocolate and popcorn and right. everything on the street. And the ball drops. The ball. Yeah, the ball. It's a very makeshift kind of situation. It's kind of like an exercise ball that's wrapped in Christmas lights. Yes. And we have this great little clock tower in right in the historic downtown of Tryon. And they kind of just toss it over the clock tower with a, a fishing pole. So it falls. And yeah, so it falls and it kind of it, it clumps, you know, <laughs> down and at, at 10 o'clock. So Naturally. we count down, we count down just like it's New Year's and we have so much fun and it's hilarious and usually it goes wrong at least once. <laughs> so we do it again and um, sometimes, you know, we just do it again 30 minutes later because it was so much fun. Why not? So it is the most laid back, playful, fun. And then you go home, you get in bed, you're in your jammies oh. and you can watch the actual New Year turn in total comfort, but you know you've been out, you've had fun. It's it's great for the families, the kids, so it's just, it's just silly. That it just really is. It's hysterical. Yep. Food, yep. Um, everything Music, okay. there's live music. Um, they, you know, they close the street down, so <laughs> they have everything. They've got, you know, just the games out in the middle. They've got fire pits along the way, oh, places yeah. to stop and have a snack or get something hot to drink. They've got heaters out, so you're comfortable, even if it's freezing cold. It was really cold last year. We'll see what it'll be this year, but it's totally worth it. It's very fun. I love that, you guys. Try on midnight with a with yep. a medicine ball, yep. a fishy ball. Does that not sound like the perfect yep. New Year's Eve? I'm sorry, but with daybreak, the Carolina morning hours, That's I right. love the ten o'clock. Ten o'clock. What do you guys think? You in? Yeah, I love that. Very <laughs> creative, right? Yeah. yeah. Sounds like a blast. I thought we'd have to bundle up though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Christine. Yeah. All right. Well, this morning, you know, I, I'm just telling you, I've been seeing a lot of accidents, a lot of crashes. Luckily, most of them have been minor ones. Hopefully, it stays.